I hidden claim honored to address you here today as a member of the disbanded Wake Party and a former 12th through 16th and 18th Speaker of the House. I was born on April 12, 1777 in Hanover County, Virginia. I was born into a home with my other siblings and my two parents. Shortly after my father's death when I was only three years old, British troops raided our home, seizing most of our possessions. My mother remarried, and in 1791, we moved to Kentucky. I went from job to job while studying law and was finally admitted to the Virginia Bar in 1797. Later that year, I relocated to Lexington, Kentucky. Soon, I grew credibility for my legal ability, and one of my most famous clients was Aaron Burr, who I successfully defended in court. Later in 1806, the same year of Burr's case, I was appointed into the United States Senate by the Kentucky Legislature. After serving two non-consecutive terms in the Senate, I was elected to the House of Representatives when I quickly rose to become the Speaker of the House. In 1810 and 1811 House of Representatives elections, the majority number was 107 seats, while the minority was 36 seats. Although I was new to this type of position, I swiftly became comfortable. The majority and minority numbers for the 1812 and 1813 elections were 114 seats and 68 seats. As the 13th Congress Speaker, I pushed the government to go to war with Britain, which started the War of 1812. After the war, President James Madison designated me as a delegate to negotiate a peace treaty with Britain. For the 1814 and 1815 elections, the majority was 119 seats and the minority was 64 seats. For the 15th Congress, the major majority was 144 seats and the minority was 40 seats. During my time as the 15th Speaker, I helped to pass the Tariff of 1816, which raised revenue and protected American manufacturing. During the 1818 and 1819 election, the majority was 158 seats and the minority was 28 seats. My time as the 16th Speaker of the House was focusing on my rivalry with Andrew Jackson because of his ludicrous decisions. After taking a break from being Speaker of the House for two years, I did it one last time. For the 18th Congress in 1822 and 1823, the majority was as many as 189 seats and the minority was only 24 seats. Nothing special happened for my last time as Speaker. In Congress, the only state I ever represented was Kentucky. Most people see me as just a Speaker of the House, even though I was so much more. I helped the United States stay united through its early years and was a main leader of the Whig Party. Unfortunately, I died on June 28, 1852, to tuberculosis. Shortly after my death, the Whig Party was dissolved, but my legacy still remained. Thank you for your time.